guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janine from Cook, Pray, Slay. I'm so excited today to bring you a new recipe on my blog. Um, it's actually a twist to one of my most popular recipes on my blog, which is the blueberry dump cake. I'm actually taking a fall twist to it. So we're doing a pumpkin dump cake today. But before we get started, I wanna remind you guys, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this channel, what are you doing? Please make sure before we go any further, definitely like and subscribe. And also you wanna make sure to press that little notification button down below so you get my latest videos. All right guys, so before we get started, we always wanna make sure we preheat our oven. So my oven is actually preheating right now at 350 degrees. Again, this is a dump cake. So literally all you're doing is mixing up our main ingredients and literally just dumping them in our pan. Let's go over the ingredients real quick. I've got two cans of pumpkin. Um, they're two 15 ounces. The recipe calls for 30 ounces, so I've got two 15 ounce cans. Um, I've got my evaporated milk, um, ginger, cinnamon. These will really bring out that fall harvesty taste. I always put vanilla in everything. So I've got um, a little bit of vanilla. I've got some ground cloves and you can use regular sugar. I always use brown sugar. Um, I feel that the brown sugar kind of brings the flavors out a little bit more. And I've just got, like I said, a box cake mix. My butter, my chopped pecans for these, four eggs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And you wanna start with a large size bowl. And we're going to put all of these ingredients um, except the butter and the box cake. We are gonna layer that on last. All right, so now that all my ingredients are in here, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all up until it's mixed together quite nicely. All right guys, so now that my pumpkin mix is nicely uh, mixed together, we're gonna go ahead and pour it into the pan, but let me just show you the consistency of this. So it should be nice and smooth. Typically a nine by 13 pan will do. This is a little smaller. This is a eight by 11, I believe, but it should do the trick. It may just need a few extra minutes in the oven. So what I've done is I, I've already um, prepared the pan, um, just lightly sprayed it with some cooking spray. And you kind of want to dust it um, with a little bit of flour. And what that will do, it'll prevent the bottom of your dump cake from um, sticking to the bottom of the pan and it'll just be a nicer, cleaner um, piece when you scoop it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. So you kind of want to smooth it so the top is nice and even. All right. So once that's done, I'm gonna grab my cake mix and we're gonna pour the cake mix over. You kinda wanna be careful. Um, you wanna try your best to pour it out um, evenly. I mean, you can always go back and um, adjust it. So, you know, no huge pressure here. 
but you just want to make an effort to at least cover the entire um, dump cake and you want it to be as even as you possibly can get it. So you just want to gently even it out here. Um, you don't want to press down too hard, but just a very light um, leveling here, see? I have about a cup of chopped pecans. Do y'all say pecans or pecans? I guess it depends on where you're from. I say pecans. But anyhow, so um, <clears throat> I initially purchased pecan halves. And so what I did was I just smashed them um, while they were still in the bag because I do like, I like the texture of it being chopped. You can just use halves. You can do whatever you want. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on top. There are actually still some halved pieces in there, so it'll look nice, it'll be a nice presentation. I like the chopped look, um, only because I feel like it just gives it some dimension um, and it looks pretty. almost ready to go in the oven. We just need to add our butter. And what you wanna do, you wanna grab your butter out of the refrigerator while it's nice and firm, because we are going to chop it up in thin slices and put directly onto the dump cake. So I've cut up a few, and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay them on top of the dump cake. All right guys, so our dump cake is all ready for the oven. I've got my oven at 350 degrees and we're gonna set it for an hour. All right guys, so we just got the dump cake out of the oven and it looks amazing. Look at this. It looks so good and it smells so good in here and I cannot wait to cut into this. I'll show you what it looks like. Right, guys so here's the taste test it looks amazing my whipped cream is kind of melted over it but that's okay it smells amazing the texture is soft mmm mmm y'all this is bomb this is so good the texture is just right between the brown sugar, the cloves, the cinnamon, all the, of the flavors, they're just like, they're working together and it just, it pops, but it's not too much. I absolutely love it. Guys, this is so good, yum. As this recipe is definitely a keeper. I'll include the recipe link with the full recipe in the description down below. And if you haven't yet, please like and, like and subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. And definitely you wanna make sure you press that bell down below so you get all the notifications as soon as I upload new recipes and videos. So thanks again for tuning in. Take care guys.